Hello, I'm here today with Dr. Gagakia to talk to us about a treatment called phage therapy that many people may not know about. Thank you for being here today, doctor. Thank you for having me. Bacteriophages are good viruses and phage science has a long history. Tell us about the discovery of phages. Bacteriophages are the viruses that attack and destroy the bacteria. They were independently discovered by French-Canadian scientist Felix Zeherel and British scientist Ward. Their therapeutic potentials were immediately recognized and phages were used to treat several bacterial infections such as dysentery and cholera. Bacteriophage preparations have been developed and used in several countries such as France, Poland and Georgia. However, the discovery of antibiotics has hindered the exposure of phage therapy to the rest of the world. Phages have obviously been used historically to treat bacterial infections. Can you explain the action of phages such as how do they work and how are they used to treat infections? Phages infect bacteria after attaching to their specific receptors on the cell and releasing their genetic material inside the bacteria. Genetic material is replicated and new phages begin to form inside the host cell. After maturation, the viral particles leave the bacteria by lysing the cell wall and destroying it, at the same time releasing many new phages. Bacteriophages can be used to treat the bacterial infections depending whether or not we have the phages specific to the bacteria causing the disease. If bacteriophages are so effective, then why haven't they been used globally since World War II? Clinical use of bacteriophages in the West has been limited after discovery of antibiotics in early 40s and the later development of broad-spectrum antibiotics. However, as the world is dealing with increasing cases of multiple antibiotic-resistant infections and the emergence of superbugs, an alternative treatment for these problems is highly sought after. Phage therapy is one of the alternatives that may be an effective solution to this problem. So what is phage treatment like? What kinds of infections are phages used to treat now? And if I need phage treatment, then what should I expect? Phages can be used to treat a wide range of infections like infected wounds or burns, gastrointestinal infections, respiratory tract infections, etc. Most of the therapeutic phage preparations contain a variety of bacteriophages to address the polyclonal nature of infections and development of resistance. There are phage preparations available with different compositions. However, if the disease-causing bacteria is resistant to commercially available phage cocktails, it is possible to develop a new customized cocktail by selection of the phages from laboratory banks or by isolating novel phage from the environment. The method of phage therapy depends on the infection. For gastrointestinal infections, for example, the phage preparations are taken orally. For soft tissue infections, the phages can be used externally for lavage to debride the wound. So in summary, the method of phage therapy is the same as the standard treatment procedures for infection. Beyond human therapy, what things can phages and lytic enzymes be used for? Lytic enzymes are the substances that are produced at the late stage of phage maturation inside the host cell that help the newly formed phage particles to leave the bacteria by lysing the cell wall. Bacteriophages or their lytic enzymes can be used to prevent or treat different bacterial infections in humans, animals or plants. Therefore, they have great potentials for human, veterinary or agricultural applications. Also, since bacteriophages are very specific to the bacteria they infect, they can be used for diagnostic purposes. So the application of bacteriophages can be very broad. Well, I believe that's all the questions we have for today. Thanks, doctor, for joining us. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.